Good Sunday morning, November 28th, 2021. Appalachian Trail southbound hike day number 116. Spent the night at the Jerry Cabin Shelter with Checkpoint, which was pretty cool. We caught up to each other, so started this morning a little after 6.30. It's probably just about 7.00. If I get up any higher, hopefully I can see the sun poke out. Have that happen two days in a row, that'd be cool. Yeah, I didn't film too much yesterday. I don't know, I wasn't feeling too talkative. Feeling better today, I got good sleep. It'll be another marathon day. Actually more than that, it's like 27 miles. 5,000 feet of gain. 7,800 feet of loss. So, it's gonna be a long day. But I got a resupply there. And then I'll be hiking out of town tomorrow morning with five days of food unless I come up with a better plan. And that would get me all the way through the Smokies without having to come out for a resupply. Because the only real option is Gatlinburg which is a 15 mile hitch or a shuttle. So I'm gonna weigh my options today, try to figure out what makes sense, but most likely I'm just gonna be carrying five days of food, which is gonna be heavy. But the plan for the Smokies is days no bigger than 20 miles, so that shouldn't be bad. And just glancing ahead at the weather, at least in the valleys and stuff, it was showing like 60s and lows in the 40s. Um, so I'm just hoping that that holds true. Three hundred miles to go. Oh yeah! On the final stretch here. 300 miles, that's about 15% left. What's kind of funny is I'm kind of torn at this point. The majority of the hike, I didn't really have a trail name. Everyone that I encountered knows me as Zach Boston. But when I was at the hiker Thanksgiving, there was a group that I had hiked with a few weeks earlier out of Damascus and they all had dubbed me Prototype because I've been testing some stuff out for Hyperlite. So when I got to the hostel for Thanksgiving, they asked, what's your trail name? I said Prototype. And I met a bunch of people there who now know me as Prototype. But I have less than three weeks left to my hike and about 80 to 85% of it, I've been Zach Boston. So I don't know if I'm now prototype or how that works. I think I'd mentioned to you guys that I'd really wanted a trail name. And since I hadn't received one, I'd kind of taken pride in the fact that I was just using my name. But now that I have one, it's like, yeah, I got a trail name. But nobody knows that person. <laughs> a few people do. Oh, the sun's poking out. Good morning, world. What a quiet morning.
That's a sea star. What? That's random. <laughs> Just a little bit after four o'clock. I've already done about 25 miles today. And off in the distance is hot springs. I think there might be a view coming up here. That's where I'm headed. Down yonder. You can actually see the hostel from here. So let's see here. It's in this region. The trail goes right by it. And the trail goes right by a couple convenience stores, a grocery store, Dollar General. I feel like when I'm done this hike, I gotta buy stock in Dollar General. That's like one of the most common places that is along the trail. I don't know if they're a successful business, but they are everywhere. More so than just a regular grocery store. A lot of people, it'd be good to get a comment from someone. How many people just strictly resupplied through Dollar General for their whole hike? Walking along the home stretch here on the French Broad River. On our way into Hot Springs, North Carolina. The end of a nice long day. We got a road walk to deal with. That's all right. Going into town. My resupply is here. Look at this view. Go hit up the Dollar General, get some microwave dinners. Potato chips and cereal. Sounds like a plan to me.